fix any photo with these three little techniques, well not every photo, but most photos, all of these photos can be improved really quickly using just three tools. And those three tools are our brush tool, our healing brush tool. And then we got our friendly little crop tool here. This little action is something I made and it benefits me every image I use. If you don't know how to do it, click this video right here or go into the top corner or check out the link in the description. But I highly recommend everyone have a workflow for their crops. All right, let's jump right into it. Our first photo is from Eric Collix. I'm just gonna show you how to like really simplify this. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is new layer using our brush tool, the B tool. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna sample this, get this color, bring my brush tool up, go to a uh, full opacity brush and just paint it in. Now you make a mask and now just paint back where you went a little too far. I usually use a big brush, get as close as I can and then go back one more time and refine it. I know a lot of people might wanna do this, say uh, a really easy, use the computer, let the computer do a bunch of things, but I love drawing. It makes you a better retoucher, it makes you better with your tablet. So just get used to using this. Then this is a nice clean image, especially if you get rid of some of this and drop in the crop, it's much nicer. And I think that this is cool. So it's more about him. Another thing I would do, but since we're not doing it full board, is I would rotate this counterclockwise. I'll just show you real quick. Take all of these, hold Apple T. See, something like that is very nice. But I'm a symmetry person, and I just love the look of that. You could fix that later, but we're not going to do that. And using our third tool is the J tool, the healing brush. You can see that there's just a little blemish. You can fix these white spots and simplified made it better. Some people may say this is too clean. You can always go back to that layer, drop the opacity and it's still nicer and brings your eye more to him than anything else. All right, next. This is also from Eric Collix, but this could be simplified. You could use the brush tool if you want to clean up the skin, but I'm going to go right to the crop. And let's see if the crop makes it any better. I think it does make it better. It's more intimate, more eyes to him. It's a little bit more compelling. You don't need to see all this stuff. That's a little messy down here. And you do this, and it's nice and clean. Now, how can we make it better? I love, we can make this crop black just because this is perfect white. So flip your artboards using X, paintbrush tool, black. And now our first tool, the brush tool, sample it. Looks like perfect white. Just paint it in. Big improvement, a lot cleaner, a lot more simple. Almost looks like it's in a studio. I would actually bring this just to be a bit more symmetrical. Looks like studio light now, which is really wild. And then take a new layer. Use a healing brush if you want, because it kind of looks like it's in studio. And then just heal brush these out. You're holding option and selecting right beside it, something similar and you're just painting them out. I think that looks a lot cleaner, a lot more simple, and I think I've improved this image. Thanks, Eric. Here we have one from Ricardo Uros. Apologize if I mispronounced the name, but we're gonna come right back here. I think this crop is, is pretty good. I mean, if you did want to improve it, you just throw the crop on and you mess it around, but I like this crop. It has clearly been cropped. As you can see, it's the exactly four by five. So someone's been watching my videos, I love it. That could be cool too, big fan of symmetry, but you don't have to do it. I know the artist put the intention of the crop in here. So really all I'm gonna do is use the B tool and same thing as you did last time, select, and then you can just paint this out. I just like these little flyaways are just a little distracting. Throw on a mask. Invert your artboards with X and just paint it back. This line here is a bit weird. Use your J tool. And there it is. If that was a line that was on her face and this is a permanent thing and you don't see it, then at least you minimize. You can drop the opacity down to something like 30% and then you can see that 
it's been softened so it's there but it's not as distracting so two small little fixes Get the flyaways around just simplify an image done next thank you to alonzo diaz for giving an image now this does look like it's been cropped it's very small let's see it has been but i would come in even more how much nicer that is that's very cool i just don't like this the logo death row although it's a dope t-shirt um and now we're gonna do the j tool healing brush get rid of that little logo and then i'm gonna take this color i'm gonna drop my opacity to like 40 percent, and i'm just gonna paint this in to make the background even I think it's a nice improvement, nice and subtle, but it did elevate it a bit, simplify it a bit. It's a beautiful portrait, the light's nice. It's very nice. This is a stunning image. Now this might just be because it's low res, but again, take our healing brush. You can fix these tiny little marks in here. Now these are important because it's part of her face. But what I would do is take this brush tool, another layer, Drop the opacity down to like 15% and just paint this in. I love the, the juxtaposition of something that's very messy, like a double exposure combined with something that's very clean, like a studio background. So you could massage this if you didn't like that little blur here, cause look, it's very clean, it's very nice, but then just bring it back. And all this does is just simplify it a little bit more. Look how it draws your eyes at flicking on and off. You can go snap right to the center, which is very interesting. But again, this is all artistic merit and what you decide to do with your image. But I think if you're trying to simplify this and bring your attention right here, I think you should experiment with this. How can you simplify the background and will it work well with the image? I think this improves it a little bit. And that's all we're here to do is just improve your images using three simple steps. Thank you very much, Taylor Ball. This is an incredible image. I love it. All right, here we got an image from Garrett Gassman. Uh, impeccable image. So good. Love the grain. Love the look of it. It's very cool. Um, not much to fix here. But like I said, every photo can be improved. One thing I would do because this image is so clean and these pores are uh, so fine what I'm gonna do is get rid of all of them and then drop the opacity just so they're not as harsh so just do something like really sloppy and clean just to you know clean it up now you just take the opacity and drop it to like let's see here 50% so they're still there they're just reduced significantly so you're not really getting rid of anything. You're just taking away that shine just because it's so clean. Again, you didn't have to do that, but just showing that you can improve significantly with just one technique. Great image. So good. Thank you, Garrett. How can you fix this one? This is another cool one. I think you could fix it a little bit with the crop. But yeah, I think that composition is a little better. Crop fix. And then right up here, let's take this big J tool make a new layer and then very simply with a nice big brush get rid of this huh I do another little one right here I think getting rid of that out of the back of the head was cool you could also take your B tool make a new layer make the opacity nice and low and just lose darken this down Use a little help in the transition areas here. So just darken it down even more. Make sure you get rid of that white line. Transition area. So just a low opacity brush just to fix that gradient. And there you go. Just using the brush tool and the B tool. Just a simple, simple fix. This could be massaged a little better. You could always drop the opacity if you thought it was just too much. That improves it a lot just so you can see the detail. A big difference. One last thing you could tweak with the J tool. Fix those splotches. You do the same thing with this hair. 
You do this with this hair. I mean, it could go on and on. They're just small tweaks. You could fix this. But I think we improved the image quite a bit. All right, last one. So this, it looks very sharp. I'm not sure what happened with this gradient. Seems to uh, be a little odd, but we can fix that with our B tool. Make it huge. Do the whole thing. XB. Obviously you would use a gradient tool. I'm just being stupid. If you happen to have my grain video, you can find right here or up in the corner here. You can see it actually helps the gradient. It actually helps smooth it out. So now that you have all this, put it into a new folder, add a mask. You're gonna invert your artboards and delete that mask. And then using your brush tool, your B tool, you're gonna do what we do so well and just paint it in. What you can do to smooth this transition just a little bit is take a soft brush and just eat it in a little bit. And it looks a lot better than the gradient before, but I, if you do do this again, I highly recommend you just use a gradient tool. Do a new layer, select the gradient tool, which is G tool. And then you hold option to select one color. And then you hold, push X to switch your artboards and you select the other color. And then you just drag and drop the length. And you can see the gradient is a lot smoother. So if I actually just swap this out, just a little smoother, not too much. And then you can use a J tool to reduce some of these hairs in here. There you go. That's how you improve all of these images using these three simple techniques. I use them all the time. Go back on old images and give them a whirl. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Corey Vanderpool at Corey Photo on Twitter and Instagram. Happy shooting.